Hi, and welcome to Math 95 um, uh, in the summer of 2015. Uh, during this quick little video, I just want to introduce, introduce you to um, uh, a few things, uh, some online resources, and I also want to look through the uh, course outline <clears throat> and um, I guess give you a, a challenge to look at a pretest. So, um, in this course, we are going to be looking at a number of different topics. Specifically, we're going to look at a bunch of different functions. And one thing I'd like you to focus on is uh, how they are related or, or how they're similar. What we're going to be doing is we'll be looking at specific properties of each one of these. And uh, you'll have to do a whole lot of math to figure out those properties. But I'd like you to sort of get so that you can... Um, uh, see the similarities between each one of those. Okay, so that's just generally the kind of functions we get to look at. So linear, quadratic, both of these you've looked at before. We're going to expand those and talk just generally about polynomial functions. We'll also look at exponential and logarithmic functions. Logs, my favorite. And then finally we'll look at trig functions, my second favorite. So what I'd like to do for just a minute is look through the course outline, sort of see some things that you'll be uh, looking at this semester. Here's some just general information on uh, the course. So you've got your center, here's my name, here's my office address, here's my phone number too. If you ever need to <coughs> contact me for any reason, there's my uh, cell phone. So feel free to text me or, or call me if you have questions. My email is, is right there below, sort of rolling on top of it. But there's my email address also if you need to contact me that way. If you need to get a hold of me outside of class, often I'm in my office just before our class. We start at 2, right? Uh, so usually I'm in my office just before that, but I can be here whenever you need me to be. So give me a call and we can set up a time. Scott Liebauer and Sandy Vandenberg, those are the chair and dean of our uh, center. Uh, great folks, if you have any course-related or program-related uh, questions, uh, feel free to contact those too. Um, there's some other stuff down there too. Generally, and I've already talked about these, but here's uh, the course catalog description. It describes those same functions that uh, I talked about earlier. And here's a little bit more specifically some things that we'll be doing during the semester. In terms of a course instructional method, <clears throat> it's a Math 30, or not Math 30, but Math, math 95, our equivalent to Math 30. And it's a course where I want you to do a ton of math. Your goal should not be to do the least amount of math possible. Your, sh your goal should be to do the most amount of math possible in the next uh, just shy of two months. So I want you to do a ton. Here's some strategies that might help you. Before class, then watch some videos. I've created videos uh, for each one of the um, uh, components online or um, components of the course. So go and watch those and just get your feet wet under, trying to understand uh, the concept. Uh, also, there's quizzes online and other resources online. Uh, make sure that you are um, actively trying to grasp and understand the concepts. During class, we will have focused instruction, so I will go through uh, most all of the math that uh, I've done in the videos. Uh, but also, there will be some time for you to work on problems and have me there to help you. We're using the Beecher Algebra and Trig 4th Edition textbook. It's, uh, it's got some great explanations in there, uh, so use those. Uh, but also, we, it has a ton of questions, and we use, uh, you'll have assignments for each one of the questions. You also need to have a scientific calculator, specifically one with a log button and a sine, cos, and a tan button. Most basic scientific calculators will work. I would get one that w is worth at least $20. Uh, if you get ones that are cheaper, sometimes they're the old format, they don't work as well. Also, you need to have access to um, the online resources, so not Angel. Our new one is called Canvas. I've tried to change that in lots of places, but there's another one. So make sure that you have access to the Canvas resources. And I'll talk more about those and show those to you uh, in a minute. <clears throat> Other learning resources, look online. Uh, the Khan Academy is a great place to look at some math videos. 
anywhere that can help you uh, try and understand the concepts, that's what I'm looking for. So the text has some stuff online, resources, my online resources, great stuff. We also have a superb uh, resource in the Learning Cafe uh, here at the college. And uh, Judy and Diane and the rest of them down there are superb to uh, help you out with problems. So I encourage you to work with them. If you do uh, require any kind of academic accommodation, you can contact our Accessibility Services area. Um, you can look for them online, uh, but also if you have questions, you can ask me. I'll, I'll point you to where they are, uh, another great resource. Uh, sometimes, if you miss an exam, well, you can't really write one after, but if you're going to write an exam before we do in class, sometimes that happens. Uh, we also have a testing services uh, center here at the college, and uh, you might want to get to know where they are as well. In terms of assessments for the course, we've got basically four modules. So you're going to get four exams. They're worth each 15%. Your final exam is worth 25%, so that's 85 altogether. The last 15% are on weekly things that you do and stuff that you're doing every day. So there's some online quizzes. I've made those worth 10%, uh, and there's about 10 of those, maybe 11, something like that. Anyway, they're worth 10%. And your weekly homework that you need to s submit every Friday, for the most part. I think the last week I have you submitted early, but typically on Fridays, uh, the homework is due, uh, and uh, you pass that in, and I'll take a look at it. Um, just in terms of talking about these things, uh, let's talk about quizzes first. The quizzes are worth 10%. You can write the quizzes whenever you want, and I just take your highest grade. So, uh, so you can write them as many times as you want, whenever you want, and I'm just taking your highest grade, I'm not averaging them. All the quizzes will be due uh, uh, when you write the final exam. So you can write, you can do those whenever you want. I would suggest writing them as many times as you can during the semester when we're in that module, and then revisit them uh, to study for the final. Um, <clears throat> for homework, or if, not for homework, for exams, these are the dates that you're going to be writing the exams this semester, and they're pretty well written in stone. I might change them a little bit, but pretty well those are the days we're going to have exams. And so um, make sure you don't have appointments that day. If something happens where you don't, you can't write an exam on a particular day, then you just get a zero for that exam, just no questions, you just get a zero. However, as, it, as I say here, um, the final exam will be split into four sections as well. And so say if you get a zero on this one, I think I have another slide in the next, uh, the next slide here. But say if you get a zero on this one, you can make that up on the final. Let me just show you that. So during the semester, if you get these your marks, uh, are your marks, you miss module three's exam. But then on the final exam, for those four sections, you actually get a 70. So then what I do is I go and get rid of the zero and put in a 70 there as if the zero was never there. Also, if you have uh, done this and maybe you didn't miss any exams, if you do better on one section on the final than you did during the semester, I'll also replace that exam. Okay, last thing to talk about is uh, homework. So every Friday is when homework is to be submitted. Uh, please um, uh, submit that on time. Uh, so it'll be due at the end of class on Friday. Uh, so um, submit it on time and do it completely. Also, as you're going through, I'm providing you with a solution key for every question that you do. So you could actually just copy them out if you wanted to. It won't help you much on the exam. But um, the solutions and answers to every question that you do are available online. So when you're doing your homework, do you know 10 questions or something, then go back and mark it. Give yourself check marks, X marks, etc., and maybe flag them some things and say, hey, I need some help from Jeff on this particular question. But use your homework as your main source of your learning. So all I'm going to mark is for complete, pardon me, completeness. I'm not marking to see if you're right or wrong because you should have already done that. Okay, um, so that is assessments. Here's the grading. So to get an A, you need to get 90 or above, etc. Um, in terms of general course expectations, I expect you to be on time for class. 
come prepared to participate. Uh, I'll do some kind of instruction, and then I'll have you uh, work on some questions. I'll ask for answers, that kind of stuff. So I'm expecting when you come that you're not just sort of sit there and, and listen or text or something. I, I expect you to be engaged as we're working on um, problems. Just in terms of institutional practices, the only thing I want to mention there is uh, academic honesty. Uh, in the class, uh, it's uh, tempted to uh, cheat uh, or uh, look on somebody else's paper when you are uh, doing an exam. So cheating on exams, uh, I look, I frown at that. Don't do that. If I catch you cheating on an exam, you just get a zero. And if it happens a couple times, we could kick you out. Uh, so don't do that. However, if you are on quizzes or you're on homework, getting help from other people, in my eyes, is not cheating. It's getting help. So if you're on a quiz or homework uh, and you're struggling with something, get some help. That's not... Uh, especially on the quizzes, you might think you're cheating, but you're not. Get some help on those quizzes, even from me. If you're having trouble with a certain section, uh, come in and I can help you go through every question on the quiz so you get 10 out of 10. My hopes is that you get 10 out of 10 on every quiz, and if, an, if I can help you do that, that would be awesome. Okay, in terms of a couple things that I want to show you online, I want to show you a bit on the calendar, some email, and just some general uh, what to look for online. So here is what it looks like when you go into the Math 95 CO1 course. Uh, there are a number of different modules that you can look at. Uh, so there's a Read Me First section and a bunch of modules. I'd open up this one. So there's the course outline is there. Uh, all the homework assignments, if you click there, it shows you what you need to do for each one of the sections that you will be looking at. So every piece of homework is right there. So feel free to uh, take a look at that. Uh, print it out maybe so you have it with you all the time. Also, all the notes we take in class, when you click here, it'll take you to a website. I guess i got to click there too. It'll take you to a website, uh, Dropbox Place, where I have uh, posted, I guess I just have the initial one for the first class, but all the notes that we do in the class will be listed here. So if you miss a class, if you weren't sure on a, on a certain part, if you missed it, you can come back here and all the notes from class will be there. Um, whoops, what else did I want to show you there? Ah, let me go back to modules. Um, uh, there's a formula sheet that we use in our exams right there. Also, all the videos, you'll see the videos down below too, but if you wanted to, you can click there and it'll sh take you right to YouTube and it'll uh, show you all the videos that are for this particular course. If you have questions during the semester, let me just click there. If you have questions during the semester, feel free to text me and say, Hey, Jeff, question number four on page whatever. Um, uh, this is what I've tried. And if you want, you send me a video or a picture of what you've tried and say, I just can't get past this. And what I'll do is I'll create a little video and respond back to you. I won't use your name in the video, but lots of people might have the same question. So as we go through the semester, this playlist will get bigger and bigger with um, uh, videos that students have asked me. So uh, feel free to use uh, that as a resource. Um, I guess that's all I wanted to say from there. In each one of the modules, they're set up the same way. There's a bit of an intro, and then there are some scribble casts on the sections that we're looking at in the textbook. And then following every other couple of, of scribble casts, there's an online quiz for those particular sections. So these videos are things you can watch before class or after class, whenever, during class. Well, that might be bad, but uh, watch those whenever. And um, But then do the online quizzes. These are the quizzes I'm talking about that you can write them as many times as you want. Okay, so those are the sections for this uh, module. At the end, I've got an exams and a review section. So there's a review that you can print off. If you do all the questions in this review, you should be pretty good on the exam. I've also given uh, sometimes one, sometimes two example uh, exams that I've given in the past, just so you can see the kinds of questions that I'll give you. And each of the modules are set up the same. At the end here, there's a solution. So for every chapter, if you click on it, it will uh, take you to a PDF file that shows you not just the answer, but how you get the answer 
for every question that we're doing this semester. And then finally, there's a year-end review with a couple of uh, review things that you can print off and, again, just more, more practice. A couple other things to take a look at in here. If you're wanting to check your grades, there's a grades button here. Uh, if you want to check to see what's going on each day, you can click on calendar, and that'll show you what we're going to be doing every day of the semester. I've done it enough times that I know sort of know where I need to put time. Oh, I'm in April. And so um, I'm fairly sure that this is what things are going to look like. So the first day, we're just doing some intros. We'll do a review quiz. And then uh, day two, we're on to 1.4 and 1.5. So those are the videos you want to watch before you come to class. And then we'll talk about them during class. Notice that every Friday, there's homework due. Homework, homework, homework. Uh, also, on the Saturdays, I've put when the online quizzes for that week's stuff are due. You can do them any time you want, but that's just sort of when I have as a tentative date that you should have them done by. Okay, there's exam number one, etc. And it just goes through the whole semester, so everything's laid out for you. Oh, one other thing to note here is that I've set for every Friday to be a lab day. So you can, on Friday, I'm not going to do anything specific. It's just going to be a day where you take a look at all the sections we've done that week. And on Friday, you uh, come with questions that you might have from any little part of that. You can also use Friday as a last day to sort of clean up and finish homework. But um, most Fridays are going to be lab days where I can help you out with things. The other thing that I've, I've put in here, and it, it sort of goes along with homework, is that when you have an exam, like exam one here, I'll get it marked and I'll get it back to you the next day. Uh, but what I'd like you to do as part of your homework for that week is I'd like you to do corrections on your exam. So if you got 100%, your exam one corrections will be, will be done. But say if you had 50% on an exam, what I'd like you to do sometime during that week and it might finish on that Friday, is I want you to do your corrections for every question on that exam. If you do that, uh, you're going to get, I'm not sure how many points I'll give you, but you'll get an assignment point uh, for that particular thing. So I won't change your exam mark, but you'll get an assignment grade. And if you do them all, you get a 10 out of 10 or whatever it is. Uh, so it, it is a benefit of you for you to do your exam corrections. Okay, so that's the calendar. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to look at? Oh, the quizzes, assessment things. So also over here, when you go into the course, uh, on the side here, you can see modules, and that's just what we've been looking at. But you can also see assignments. If you click on assignments, this shows you all the things that you're going to do uh, that will get a mark. So there's all the online quizzes. There's the homework and the exam corrections. And then there's the uh, exams themselves and the final exam. So those are all the assessments you get. Also, if you look at quizzes, <coughs> um, uh, that's another access point where you can access any of the quizzes that you've done so far. Okay, I'm looking forward to having whoops, a great semester with you. Uh, I want you to work hard, do as, as much math as you can. If I can help you out in any way, uh, that's what I'm here for. Okay. Looking forward to a good semester.